Welcome back. So following on from last week, when we arrived in Croatia, we went to a campsite with a beautiful lake. Follow us this week as we go and find Plitvice National Park. We've got this really cool floaty pontoon for the kids to play on, but it doesn't half make me nervous. They've been swimming a little while and the boys are getting quite confident with swimming. So beautiful here. It's, the weather is scorching. I can already feel it burning my back. Stu's out on the set board, so he's like well, well out in the lake at the minute. And the kids are having a brilliant time on their inflatables. So literally can't wait to see their faces when we take them to the water park one, because they don't know yet that they've got a massive one of these on the beach. So it was going to be a real treat for them. And um, yeah, I, l I love seeing their excitement. Um, I'm just looking around here now. And what I can see is like a volleyball uh, spot. There's a bar your coffee your beers and stuff and then there's another park just over there like a swing park i can't imagine it getting too too busy here today so we can literally just relax and enjoy it and then with the trees there be able to cool off later on bottom of my feet are burning yeah we haven't put any sun cream on it's awful i forgot <laughs> oh, yeah. knowing i try and stand up knowing close to the shore you just went for one almighty trek down that lake. Yeah, I went right to the other end. Oh, wobbly. It's a stand up board, not a kneel down board. <laughs> Mind the unicorn. <laughs> Ching ching, darling. Ching ching. The bar I've got grown up swings. See how long Stu lasts for. <laughs> so we're at a bar opposite a lake. It's basically a hut. Um, and we've just got here, and there's swings instead of bar stools at the bar. So we're literally hanging around for our drinks. This was 10 kahuna, which works out about 90p for a glass of red wine. It's a good place to be. <laughs> so I'll be moving, yeah. <laughs> yeah, gotta watch I don't end up in the lake like Bridget Jones. <laughs> we are actually at the pinnacle of our tour today. So the reason why we've come to Croatia was all about what you're about to see and it is truly stunning. It's gonna be epic. So we are at the Plitvice National Park in Croatia. This was a photo that I saw probably about a year, year and a half ago that just made me want to come. Can I just say, we've had an extremely eventful morning. We've had to get up super early for this because the campsite we booked, we thought was seven kilometers away, which it is on like- is In a straight you, line, Yeah. on a map. <laughs> But actually, sorry, there's wasps everywhere. Um, actually, it was what, 35 kilometers, 40 kilometers? Yeah, it was a lot further, but there's been so much drama this morning. The 
Big. No coffee, no tea, nothing. No. We've literally jumped out of bed, left super early. <laughs> I fed the kids at the table while we were driving. What happened? Dexter started choking while we were mid driving, so we had to slam the brakes on, pull over, and you had to run over and do your <laughs> Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> God, it's not even funny. Yeah, lesson learned. Yeah, just feeling that that was it could have been a completely different morning for us, couldn't yeah. it? But thankfully, everyone's okay. We've yes. all yeah. I've just made a picnic. Can I just say the bread in Croatia is literally the same size as a fifty pence piece. <laughs> yeah. So the ham has been cut into quarters. So I got a nice to make thick it work. filled sandwich. <laughs> Let's go see these legs. Let's hope we've had our fill of drama this morning, and this is going to be a peaceful experience. Good drama. <laughs> Let's go. So this nearly didn't happen for us because you need to book online your Plitvice National Park website to get your tickets in advance. It does get really booked up really, really quickly. Yesterday I had a bit of a panic because it said the earliest we could book was on Saturday the 6th at 3pm. Well, you need at least three to six hours here and we managed to get some just in the nick of time but ended up paying on a Croatian website using the Hunas. But we did it, we got through. Straight away, there's a viewpoint. So we're gonna just uh, show you what this looks like. Straight into it. Look at that. Oh, there's another lake over there. How blue it is. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness, that looks like someone's put dye in it. Yeah, that's lush. The Plitvice Lakes National Park is best known for its 16 cascading lakes and more than 90 waterfalls. The two largest lakes in the Plitvice system are the Pruskansko and the Kozjak. There are 12 upper lakes and four lower lakes. The highest waterfall in Croatia can be found in the lower lakes area, the Great Waterfall. So here's Amelia demonstrating the large waterfalls at Plitvice. We've just passed a load of the smaller ones. It is stunning though, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Dexter's found a crayfish. Have a look at this. One's there. One's there. One's there. Well, that's all I can see. <laughs> So around the lakes is this sort of log deck platform and this follows the trail all the way around. It allows you to get really close to the lakes and a nice easy walk. So this is the reason they tell you not to wear flip flops because it's quite rickety and yeah, you could easily trip up and fall in and obviously they don't want anyone mucking up their waters, which you can appreciate. It's so clear and beautiful. You can see why they uh, charge you to come in. <laughs> you know, they've obviously got to look after this place and they're doing a fantastic job. What, what a beautiful spot. There's lots of these little waterfalls everywhere. So unfortunately you're not actually allowed to swim in the lakes here which is a shame because it's really hot and they look really inviting. But I would love to swim in the cave just for here. Literally what dreams are made of coming to see things like this. I absolutely love waterfalls. Moving water just literally makes me feel so calm. And this spot so far on this trip has been the most tranquil and peaceful moment for me. Just amazing. It's beautiful here. There's just so many people because obviously everyone wants to see exactly the same thing and everyone seems to be walking in the same direction. The amount of fish in these waters and the different, like, the different species of fish is incredible, really. I've just seen some ducks as well. It looks a little bit weird when you don't see ducks on muddy water, though. So I just found a bench 
We're gonna have a picnic by here before we carry on moving on, I think. There's not many places to stop. You do literally just have to keep walking and walking and walking until you find a gap. And it's very busy, isn't it? It's really busy. Very busy. I mean, it's obviously, really hot. it's a stunning place. Ah, and you can see why everyone wants to come and take a look because it's just natural beauty. So we are currently here and you can see we've just done all the smaller lakes down here. Now it's time to go and do the big ones. Gosh, look at the size of that. And then there's a boat you can take now at the beginning of this first big lake that will take you right across it to here and then you've got all the fall areas but yeah. Uh, Oh, sounds exciting. Should we go see yeah, that then? Yeah, go have a look. So, so far, everything we've seen has already blown us away. Oh, okay. The amount of waterfalls. I mean, you, to see one in Britain, you're chuffed. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is amazing. One after another, after another. Yeah. And then you get these massive, big blue lakes that are just clear. And you can literally see the fish swimming around yeah. in the lakes. Lovely. It's beautiful. Look, there's a boat going. I think this is the queue for the yeah, boat. Yeah. yeah, the boat stops just down there. There's a massive line. I would assume this is for the boats. <laughs> so we're in the queue for the boat and we're all entertaining ourselves by doing hand movements. Yeah, I think we're doing quite well. I think Dexter's winning. Well done. I can do most. What'd you get? <laughs> so with your ticket, it's 300 kahunas for an adult and it's 120 kahunas for children 7 to 18 years so obviously that's meant we've had a free one with Amelia being younger which is great never happens for us uh, so we worked out something like 850 hunas for us which works out around 90 80 to 90 euros i would say in that you do get a boat ride on the electric boats to take you to the bigger lake you also get a train ride on the way back as well be aware though because i nearly booked with another site and that came to like 125 euros but that did not include the admission so when you're booking ahead make sure you're on the right website i'll put the link in the description so they've got a bar and grill down here, a park, and a souvenir shop as well. So yeah, you could spend a few quid, couldn't you? Are you a queue jumper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we made the boat. What's one of our vlogs without a boat ride? <laughs> The boat ride takes about 10 minutes to get across the lake. There is a walk around it, but at this point we'd already walked nearly six miles, which is how long it takes from the start to the finish. They use electric boats here, so not to pollute the water, and the scenery was just so calm. So we've got a few small lakes to get around before we get to the big finale. So the walkways can be quite busy. So we're just having to kind of watch people who are taking photos, or people that are stop for lunch or breasts, things like that. So it's a good idea that they're ticketing people actually just to keep the flow of traffic moving. But it's getting warm now. So do you reckon there's one we can swim in? Not sure. I know the end lake is the one which has the glass bottom kayaks. So on that note, I'd say yes, but I don't know. Because this is one I would genuinely get in this for a swim. It's so pretty and I'm so hot that I feel like I really need it. <laughs> Do you reckon it'd be so. warm? That'd be a nice treat at the end, wouldn't it? If you've got to walk all this in this heat and you get to the end and you can actually swim in one of them. Yeah, it'd be lush. So we've been in this queue now for about 40 minutes just to get close up to show you guys how stunning this place is. Wow, that is spectacular. Isn't that the biggest waterfall we've ever seen? Yeah, that's gorgeous. This looks like you'd have a lot more water, usually. We've had so much hot weather with the heat waves. Well, I mean, look at these views. So close. You've got these little caves. It's just beautiful. <laughs> Picnic time. Picnic time. <laughs> Look at it, everyone's shattered. We've been walking for hours. So we've got to the top lake. We're all absolutely white. Every single one of these faces 
look annoyed. There's a Kit Kat like pick for like fit Oreos, but think it's Kit Kat. Okay, cool. Yeah. We're absolutely boiling. The queue for coffee and waters and drinks is too long. So we've nipped for the ice cream section. We're at the top lake now, aren't we, lad? I think so. I hope so. I hope so as well. I feel absolutely destroyed. Never been so relieved to see transport taking us back to the boat home in all my life. Literally, it was the hardest walk we've ever done. It was the most enjoyable, but it was really hard. Exhausted. So when the bus drops you off at entrance one or two, we got off at entrance one and you still got another mile and a bit to get back to the entrance, I would say. It's about right, isn't it? Yeah. We're all absolutely pooped. M amazing experience. Well worth doing it. And we found out as well that the lakes, you can drink from them. They're fresh water from all the waterfalls coming down from the mountains. So it was well worth it, wasn't it? It was, but it's half one now, so it is getting very hot. So time to get back to the van and enjoy some air corn. Everyone can <laughs> indulge in as much water as they want instead of being rationed. <laughs> yeah. And relax. It was lovely though, so. Back to the campsite. Let's go. So Stu offered me for a quick pint at the bar and it's ended up into a full blue meal. Ah, couldn't resist. I'm so lucky. So I'm gonna get on with this and enjoy it because that looks mint, doesn't it? I'm gonna taste the hot sauce. So on the site you have got a restaurant, they do some nice greasy food, and then there was a little bouncy castle for the kids. That did entertain them for half hour. The restaurant is also a bar, so we had a cheeky drink and some burgers there last night. Amelia did amuse us. There's free Wi-Fi on the site, but it doesn't stretch that far, so if you do come here and you want to use it, you need to park up close to the reception building. So we're leaving this site this morning. We're up really early. It's about half seven. It's not that early, really. Most people are at work by now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's just been a bit early for right. us. We're not always up at this time, but we're leaving early, <laughs> which is early for us. So we're taking the kids, now we're heading to the coast, we're taking the kids to a nice big water park for a couple of days. It's going to be wicked, it's the first, I've been nagging for a water park ever since we <laughs> left. So um, yeah. Yeah, It'll we made the kids walk sort of, I think it was about seven miles yesterday. You did, yeah. you made them walk that far. There was no way for them to cool off here, so a water park it is. <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed it. We do really recommend if you're in Croatia visiting that national park. It was absolutely stunning. Absolutely well worth it, yeah. And there's so much to see, so much. There's, there's waterfalls are huge, aren't they? Yeah. You know, you, you literally can't pick it up on camera how good it is. But um, we hope you got the gist. Anyway. Yeah, I will say it is very tiring. By the time we got to the end, we were praying there was free transport bag. We said, if it's not, I'm getting a taxi because by the time you get to the end, it's all uphill. It's say six, seven miles long. We were knackered. Yeah. The kids were tired. But you do. You get a train then. I say a train. It's like a road train, and it'll take you then all the way back to your car park, or about a mile off it. No, anyway. it's not to your car park, is it? That, come on, let's not be deceiving anyone, right? You get off, <laughs> and then you have to walk a further 1.2 kilometers to the car park, pay your car park fee, and then walk another, what felt like a mile to the camp van. <laughs> we were ruined. Yeah, it's still better than having to walk all the way back. But anyway, we hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, sorry rambling on again. <laughs> so until next time, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Ta-ra, guys. <laughs>